Whiplash is a 2014 drama centering on Andrew, a promising young drummer who enrolls at a cutthroat music conservatory where his dreams of greatness are mentored by Fletcher, a crazy, strict, and abusive instructor who will stop at nothing to realize a student's potential. It took me five years to gain the courage to watch Whiplash for the first time, and I can't exactly tell you why. It's not like I was against watching it, it's just that I guess other movies took precedence over it. I figured at one point or another I'd get around to watching it, and I did, and it is crazy good. I can't exactly tell you what I expected to find out of Whiplash, but I mean, I expected it to be good, I just didn't know how good. Because of the trailers and the posters all basically pointed to the idea that J.K. Simmons is just this mean guy that yells a lot. And he is, and he does, but that's not the only reason you should watch this movie. You should watch this movie because it's the most intense drama I've ever seen. Let's get into it. Above all else, I would say that the people category is probably the most prominent and most important element this film has, especially when it comes down to J.K. Simmons because his performance is off the charts amazing. In the history of movies that I've seen with J.K. Simmons, this is the best I've ever seen him in. Even from a literary standpoint, his character's importance is unique and it's rare. Because not only is he the literary definition of an antagonist, but he's also the literary definition of what's called an influence character. You can find an influence character in every single movie that's out there. Basically, the main character runs into somebody early on in the movie. They could be good, they could be bad, but they're in the way. It's rare to have an antagonist be the influence character as well, but it does happen, just like the protagonist and the main character often are seen together as the hero. Fact is, the way his character was written was extremely, extremely well done. Miles Teller's good too. Miles Teller I don't think I've ever had a thing against, but he doesn't have a lot of roles that I've loved, but he does a good job here too. So I'm not gonna toss him under the bus because he did do a good job. And of course the movie's definitely about psychological connections between these two characters, specifically with their chemistry. It's a chemistry that has the audience member often feeling anxiety just watching the two interact, which is what it was going for, and it does a really good job with it. The People category gets 16 out of 20 possible stars. You know, they shot the movie in like 19 days, but I could tell it probably took a lot longer in the writer's room because there's a lot that went into it. This entire movie, when it's not focusing on technical things like editing and sound mixing and things of the nature, is focusing on the dialogue. There is so much dialogue in this movie, and it is incredibly memorable, incredibly important to the plot, and the audience will have absolutely no difficulties getting sucked into the movie. It also has a very simple, balanced plot that's dealt with a little bit unconventionally, but simple nonetheless. Things that these characters go through in the movie make it deep and meaningful for them as well as the audience member who feels a little bit uncomfortable in a good way while watching. Writing category gets 10 out of 10 possible stars. When it comes down to behind the scenes, everything once again stands out as really, really good. The only thing that doesn't, I would say, is probably the visuals. I was going back and forth with that one. It has its moments here and there where it really looks nice, but that's mostly due to cinematography and editing. There's a lot of great looking shots with the camera work and how it's edited all together is really beautifully done, and it just keeps things going. The beat of the movie is like a drum beat all on its own, and it's edited together very, very well. As far as music and sound goes, obviously it's a movie about music, it's about drumming, but it's also just the sound of the movie alone. How the sound is edited together, how the sound affects sound, how the music works as a whole is very satisfying. 9 out of 10 possible stars for BTS. Like I said before, it's also a balanced, simple story, so it has a good narrative arc. Even though it's unconventional, there is a great introduction to these characters and what they're going through and what's going on in the world around them. There's an inciting incident, which is obviously when Miles Teller's character starts training under Fletcher's control. It's pretty obvious what the obstacles are in this movie, but if you're still unclear, it's clearly J.K. Simmons. I won't really get into how the movie ends, but it is crafted together very, very well, both with the climax and with the falling action. 10 out of 10 possible stars for the narrative arc. Okay, so it's technically done very well, but is it entertaining? Like I said, this is the most thrilling, most intense drama I have ever seen. I have no idea how I've never seen the movie up until this point. I will rewatch it in a heartbeat. I had a great time while watching. I have the impulse to buy it at full price, not only just own it. I have the impulse to talk about it and recommend it to others, and it's always engaging. It always feels like you can't pause it or look away because something is going to happen, and you're going to miss it if you do pause it or look away or whatever. 10 out of 10 possible stars for entertainment. With the specialty category, what do you expect to find out of Whiplash? 
This is a very character or at least actor-centric film that focuses a lot on J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller. So how are they in their respective roles? Like I said, this is probably the best performance I think I've ever seen from J.K. Simmons, and he does feel like he was born to play this role, and that's not something I thought I'd ever say again after J. Jonah and Jameson. 10 out of 10 for him. It's always back and forth with me with Miles Teller, but he does a great job here. Whenever I'm thinking about Miles Teller from now on, I'm going to be thinking about his performance in this movie. 10 out of 10. As a movie about music, where does it stand? I've seen a lot of movies focusing on music, not necessarily a musical, but a movie about music. And I think there's a lot more potential to be found in this kind of subgenre. And I think this is a great example of where you can take a movie about music. 10 out of 10. Halfway decent. Did they make the movie they intended to make from the get-go? If you would say no to this, I'd call you a menace. You think I'm stupid? 10 out of 10. The specialty category gets 40 out of 40 possible stars. If we add up all those points, we get 95 out of 100 possible stars. 95%, which is a glowingly great score. And now, time for TLDR. Whiplash is an incredibly intense drama, and if you haven't seen it or don't want to see it, there's something wrong with you. Guys, tell me what you thought of Whiplash in the comments down below, and for YouTube, you know you can subscribe to me, hit that like button, and hit that bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until next time, peace out.